All right, so how many of you watched my recent laptop video by Razer, the Razer Blade 15, packing that i9 and a 3080? Was it an i9 or an i7? I forget. Anyways, it was a stinking beast of a laptop. It was a $3,000 laptop. Yeah, it was awesome. It's top of the line darn near right there, you know what I mean? And this was just going through my head after covering that one. I was like, man, so we just covered top of the line, which is... I don't think the average or what most people are using, you know, um, as great as a device is, it's again, expensive. So what I went ahead and picked up is a budget gaming laptop. Um, I'm not sure if this is like bottom of the line or not, but it looks like it's pretty stinking close. And I actually picked this up for $650 right there. So. Yeah, it's one of the lower end ones. But anyways, what I'm gonna do, this will be a two part video here. Um, as you see, it's in the box. I have not even opened this yet. So I wanna pop it out and just get that initial reaction with you guys, like as far as build and kind of look over. Cause remember the Razer one was a stinking tank. It was like a uh, Apple, a MacBook Pro, which is what I usually use, you know, which is a real solid device. So again, I'm kind of curious as far as that, but this is gonna be two parts. Um, I'll be coming back in a few days or a week or so, something like that. And, um, you know, after I game with it, give you guys some numbers, some specs, some temps, and actually let you know how it really is. But um, first off, let's go ahead and check this build out. And what we, oh, it's a box within a box. Of course, it's not a tech product if there's not a box within a box. By the way, it was also in a shipping box. So it's a box within a box within a box. Really cool box here though, MSI, black and red. I like it, I like it. All right, so let me just read this off to you here. So we have, it's a 15.6 FHD anti-glare IPS panel, i5 10, uh, 1030H processor, uh, 1650, four gigabytes. That's gonna, eh, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Um, 256 gigabytes SSD in a DDR4, uh, eight gigabytes right there. So again, kind of bottom of the line specs, but again, a 650 for a gaming laptop, I shouldn't really be complaining, you know? So anyways, let's get all this out of here. What about over here? This is probably our power cord. All right, so we got a brick somewhere. Brick's probably under here. Let's get this out of the way first, and then we'll, this is not how you're supposed to do like unboxing to save the coolest thing for last. Manual, where the heck is this brick? There we go. So the brick, right out the, again, if you watch the uh, Razer one, the brick, this brick is much smaller. Okay, so we got another cover. Let me, let's just take this off together here. I just wanna, again, I wanted to bring, okay, so it's like a, oh geez. It's like an actual protector on there. Look, there's fingerprints underneath it. Like, <laughs> I guess the person that uh, packed it up there. All right, so that's actually like painted on, it's not a sticker, the MSI logo. Oh gee, that's a little bit aggressive right here. Look at this. Not bad though. It's really not, you know, like doesn't feel chintzy. It just looks crazy aggressive on the bottom, you know? Looking at the top up here, HDMI right in the back. So if you hook it up to your monitor, TV or something, that's pretty cool. Microphone, headphones separated as well right there. USBs, a C, actual ethernet. That's pretty sweet right there to actually have an ethernet. The uh, Razer didn't even have that. But again, you can tell this is a pinch thicker. Not ridiculous by any means. Again, HDMI in the back, and then over here, USB, and that's where our power is gonna go. Now, it opens a lot easier than, say, the Razer one. Is that a pro or a con? That's up to you. But it's not bad, it's not like loose, loose. But all in all, first impressions right out the box. Again, we're gonna test it, I'm gonna game with it, I'm gonna show you guys that, the temps, and then how many FPS we're getting and stuff like that, and my honest experience, like, is it worth it? Am I even enjoying my games? on a lower uh, lower end budget laptop. That's the main point, but out of the box, 650 bucks, I do like it. I, I didn't think I would like it this much. I thought it was gonna be like a piece of junk. Again, I've used some low end Dell laptops before and they're just, yeah, they weren't fun. They weren't fun. I'm not really getting that vibe right here. I'm getting, getting a decent vibe right here. But of course, like I stated, it's gonna be the performance. How is it gonna perform? Temps and stuff like that. And uh, again, I'll probably be back with you guys in a couple weeks after I get some serious time with it and let you know. So anyways, see you in a few days. Well, all right, it's only been one day and I'm back with you guys. I thought this would take a lot longer. I thought I'd be grinding at it, gaming with it, and then coming back with you for some results. But a few things that disappointed me, number one was like, this may sound cheesy, but the trackpad, you hear that right there? 
there's like bounce in it and it was just annoying because I mean, yeah, as a laptop or me as a gamer, I'm gonna use a mouse the majority of the time. I am gonna use a mouse, you know what I mean? But every now and then I use that and it was just like, every time I pressed it, I was like, ugh. Yeah, I just, I didn't want to press it, you know what I mean? It was stinking annoying. It really was, it just felt chintzy, but whatever. Maybe that's minor, you know, 650, I can push that aside. So anyways, I load up my game. I get into Fortnite. Let's go and load it up here, by the way. By the way, I'm stag right now. Let me pull up, I'm gonna pull up Dragon Center just so you guys can see this. I just did, uh, finished up a video, a Techni Talks video, and I was using the laptop. So you'll be able to see what it is sitting stag. And this is pretty much what I always get. I'm right around 40s. I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick this up. It won't go flat here, but I'm at 36 right now. We're gonna check it with our uh, temperature checker. So, by the way, as far as your hands touching here, not hot at all. Remember the razor one? We said it got real hot in the hands. Uh, right, of course, it's packing a lot more, but this one's not. It's almost cool to the touch. So getting back here from the back, we are getting 87 side. We do have some vents on, yeah, this side over here. So we're getting 80 everywhere around. We'll try back here on the fans. So 85. Still saying right around there. 80s to 85. Now, can you guys hear this? You hear the fans running a little bit? So we're staying around 40 to 50 uh, decibels right there. And it, it's pretty quiet, closed off room, no fans or anything else on. This is the only thing running. So you do hear it, you hear those fans running, but again, it doesn't get hot. It's definitely, they're doing their job. They're doing their job. But again, they constantly ran and you constantly, as you're hearing right there, you hear that all the time, whether you're just idle browsing, doing something, or gaming. Let me load up Fortnite, and I'm gonna run a couple benchmarks right here with you guys. This will be the first time for both of us. We'll check that temperature, we'll listen to it and everything, but I wanna give you my experience on Fortnite, because again, I got quite a few rounds in the other night, and that's pretty much what closed the door for me. I was like, yeah, no, this just isn't gonna cut it, you know what I mean? And hopefully you guys can see this fairly decent. The colors are actually fairly good for a budget. You do kind of get the, you know, little bit, faded out, washed out colors slightly, but it's still vibrant and, and enough for you to really enjoy the game. But you can see all the pop in there. I believe that's gonna be a lot of our RAM. Like lots of pop in throughout there. You can see the texture of the ground's not even pulled in yet. I don't even know where I'm jumping here. I'm gonna jump with some action. But you can even just, ah, oh, it's just like, almost makes me nauseous, the choppiness around the monitor. Is that the, uh, the 60 hertz though? And I'm so used to 144. I'm a big graphics person. I love quality graphics. You know, I don't like, I know a lot of people on Fortnite, they say, oh, just lower your settings, the complete lowest. It just drops hard and then it gets back up and it just, again, it creates that tearing on high. So I think the only real playable, again, if nothing's going on, it's fine. I don't know if you're just gonna be playing solitaire on your computer, you know what I mean? And, but again, on medium settings, Fortnite, we're staying right there. We're cranking 104 now. Woo, okay, there you go, there you go. That'll do it. Yay, yay. The keyboard's warm. It's definitely hot, warm, and then cool to the touch right down here on your palm. But this is, we're still sitting on the 80s down here. Keyboard, 97 on the keyboard. So still staying around 50. As far as the sound, you definitely hear them chugging again, constantly, whether you're in game or not in game, they are constantly moving. I'm gonna crank these speakers up so you can hear them real quick, cranked fully up. Again, they're all coming from the back, so it's just, it's weird. I think I'm, I think what I'm doing right now, honestly, is making excuses to make this continuously go so I can finish this round. 42 left, where's the circle? Where's the action? Give me some action. So again, it's playable at 60. Not bad, not great. I'd prefer better, I would. The one thing that's probably the most annoying to me, and again, I, I haven't played on 60 Hertz in a long time. None of my TVs are even 60. My TVs are 120. But just this, it's like whenever I'm moving, like going back and forth, you guys probably can't see it in camera, but back here, it's just like the scene of that building. It's choppy, like where the lighting should be. 
it's just really choppy in it. It just over throughout an entire game session, it starts really jacking with my eyes and bothering me a bit. Can you see that zip line back there? So number one, the texture of the ground, as you can see, it's not built in yet. And then that's all just choppy right there. That's kind of what I'm talking about, those little things. Now you can see, now of course this is our settings, right? If we can crank our settings up, we'd we'll, we get a little bit. You wanna see, I'm over here, like I, I keep telling you, I'm gonna shut this down. Let's, let's go epic, let's just try it. Let's go all in. 50s, so we're staying low 50s. Oh, it's jittering, like his cape is, it's in and out. All right, so by the way, I did not win my Fortnite round. I died shortly after that right there. I wasn't really focused, you know what I mean? But anyways, we got Shadow of the Tomb Raider loaded up here right now. And I can just tell you, loading it up, like it is, whew, it's already chugging. She's chugging. So anyways, let's go into options and we're gonna get uh, display and graphics. And again, I'm not gonna get here and tweak every different setting. I'm just gonna get it in here and adjust. What are we on, high? Wanna go high first? Let's, let's check high. Let's go to medium. All right, so we just finished up the benchmarks there on medium settings. And we're getting an average of 49. So better, but not much better. I was hoping we'd probably be around an average of, again, 60. Now, of course, you get in here and dab with some shadows and stuff, but I think when you get lower than medium, it's almost like, go get a Nintendo Switch. So, talking uh, 50 frames on that roughly right there. Not horrible, not great. Would we even put it at good? Maybe decent will be generous. All right, so we now have Rainbow Six loaded up. And let, let me just tell you something, this is a side note here. As far as loading games and actually getting to the point, it's pretty stinking slow. It, it really is there. Um, so, and, and it just starts chugging. So I'm gonna leave this um, temp or our sound checker over there. Cause it's, when I've been loading up Rainbow Six here, it started really chugging, but we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go into options here. Where's our display graphics high? So we got on a high. I think Rainbow Six should be able to handle it. So we're gonna start off with high right here. And we'll run this benchmark. And again, I'm gonna leave the temperature set right over here or the uh, sound and I'll check temperatures through edit. Since we got 111 on high, I, just for the sake of it, I wanna go on and run one on ultra here and see what we get. So let's go on and run this and I'll be right back with you. All right, so on ultra settings there, we're getting 110, like what the heck's going on? Like that's that's weird. That That's something beyond me, something, some computer specs or something crazy right there. I wanted to give you just that natural straight look, but again, getting 110 here and then 111 on high. It's just that that's weird. So when we compile all that together, just with our raw test right there, right with you guys, 650 bucks for this laptop. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it worth it? And it's hard, like, you know, I can see and say, oh, I game on a 38, I game at 4040p, 144 hertz, yada, yada. You know, but when I look at something like this, I don't look at it as your primary gaming device, you know? Maybe if you're just looking for something for school, maybe a little bit of game in here and there on the side, or maybe on a trip or something like that, you know? You want a laptop that you can take on a trip but still game on? Sure, go with this. I think you'll be happy. If it's something that you want as your primary gaming device, gaming is gaming. We all need to game. Gaming is fun. Whatever you're on, you're having a blast, whether it be your phone or a low-end laptop, so be it. Whatever, you know what I mean? That's the way I look at it. If you got some spare change, I say upgrade for sure. I say personally, no, I wouldn't recommend this for your primary de uh, dedicated gaming device. But again, I hate saying that because I want everyone to game, everyone to be able to game. I think you'll enjoy your time with it, sure. Is there better out there? Heck yeah. Is there more expensive out there? Of course. Is there cheaper out there that's gonna compete with this? I don't think so. Again, you know, I, I think you have an enjoyable time with it. Is it great? No, but I think it's good to maybe get your feet wet. If you're looking for a low end, a, a fair price device to get you gaming, PC gaming or a laptop, whatever, 
I think this will do you good. I really do. But again, it's not the best. There's better out there. And yeah, for maybe like 300 bucks more, I think you could get something better. Again, everybody should game. If you only got 650 bucks, you're not gonna be upset with this. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is maybe, if you can squeeze it, squeeze out $300 more and get yourself something, maybe a pinch better. So all in all, thank you so much for watching my review on this MSI laptop right here, this low-end budget. It was a really fun test, really just fun live test right here with you guys. I had a blast with it. I hope you did as well, and I hope it helped you out if you're looking at a new gaming laptop, budget device, or heck, this MSI laptop right here. I hope I was able to help you out, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.